Welcome back to Harbaugh. Two years before the 2016 primaries, Hillary Clinton has no viable challenger in her path to the Democratic nomination. Vice President Joe Biden has not yet ruled out a run for the White House, but in the latest Quinnipiac University poll, taking the temperature of Iowa voters, a key general election swing state, 62 percent of the respondents said Biden would not make a good president, while only 20 percent said that he would. Not a good look out there in Iowa. Anyway, the progressive left in the Democratic Party has been pushing Senator Elizabeth Warren in the magazines, at least. She's from Massachusetts, of course. But last week, she ruled out a run. A dark horse candidate, former Montana Governor Brian Schweitzer, has indicated that he might launch a bid for the White House, which is interesting. Schweitzer told Real Clear Politics in October, quote, there's a whole lot of America that looks at each other and says, well, there's 340 million people living in America. Isn't there somebody other than a Bush or a Clinton who can be president in these modern times? By the way, that's a good argument. And one big sign of how open the Democratic field is, except for Hillary in 2016, could be that the 75-year-old governor of California, there he is, Jerry Brown, who began his career re- running back in 1969, running for L.A. Community College Board, might be considering a fourth run for the White House. What a run he's had. The L.A. Times said, quote, some are pushing Brown to consider another try for the White House, even if it means taking on Hillary Rodham Clinton, the prohibitive, still undeclared Democratic favorite. This is going to be great. Amy Walter is with the Cook Political Report, the best there is. And Kathleen Parker is the syndicate columnist with the Washington Post. Let me ask you this, Amy, you study the numbers, the numbers, numbers, numbers. I would like to see a, a fight for the primaries. I'd love to see a long primary fight on the Democratic side, almost like the it's crazy the fight I expect on the other side. Not just for, but for interest. Yes, for interest. And also, I think the issues ought to be debated. Do we go into another Iraq? Yeah. I don't want to go into another Iraq. I want to hear the candidates come out and say we learned our lesson. We're not going into another Middle East war. You know, let's see. Yeah, well, there, I, I want I to see a Dove a, win. There is personally. going to be a primary. There's no doubt about it. Whether Hillary Clinton runs or not, there is a primary. Somebody's going to challenge her, and th- these questions are going to be debated. Now, how serious that challenger is, Look, that's the other Howard piece of it. Dean, I'm hoping for something where it might just happen. But you know what we haven't seen a yet? For all battle. the talk of, gosh, there's this debate within the Democratic Party between the populists and the establishment, Wall Street and populists. It's not showing up anywhere it outside of... It, we would see it in primaries I'm for the you. Senate I'm and Congress. You. Where is it? I see the Democratic Party in the same sweet spot, center left, it's been in since Hubert Humphrey. Just about, you know, a little more social democracy than you have in this country, but a lot less than Europe. All right. Not a bigger government, just a, a Republican solution to health care. Very gradual role of government there. Your thoughts about the Democrat side. You can enjoy this. You're already smiling. <laughs> but I think it is. Well, I, I want to. First of all, remember, Dan Rather got into his fight with who was it? Oh, right. George Sr. got in his fight with Dan Rather and sort of warmed up against uh, against uh, Dukakis. Yeah. I think you need a warm up in the spring. Jimmy Carter had a Rose Garden strategy. Didn't work out too well. You have to have a fight on your yeah. side before you go into the general, it seems to me. The, well, you're a challenger. Doesn't, doesn't it also make sense that the person, when you have an easy pass into the nomination, you're more likely you're going to have an easy pass into the general. I, I mean, look Who what. That? Well, Eisenhower. I saw the close <laughs> call for Taft. No, well, that's go true. back and look that's at true. it. He had a fight like hell at the convention. But look what uh, happened to Romney. I mean, that's a perfect example. They beat him up so much through, throughout that yeah. ridiculously long People primary. People like tore him. Well, and they they just completely wiped him out. And they used up all well, his money. And they, well, they were, but they took him. Uh, look, I'm looking at it with clear eyes, and I love the glasses. And clear I don't. eyes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Clear eyes. You don't always wear glasses. Clear eyes. Yeah. Why? Uh, is there somebody out there who could give Hillary a good fight, maybe win a couple caucuses, win a couple of primaries? The way I can't right? think of anyone. Can I you really mean anybody? Anybody out there who could give her a tussle, make it interesting. As we not say. anybody who's out there right now. Unless, and I don't know how Joe Biden runs against her. You'd say, who's the most significant opponent, the vi- sitting vice president of the United States? Yeah. But where does he move? Does but by he the move way, to nobody's, left? Does he move to a right? His does problem he, is he's very strong in Pennsylvania, but Hillary's stronger. But nobody's going to give her a hard fight, let's face it, because they think there's two reasons to run, right? One is because you might want to be the VP. And why would you run if you want to explain that, how that works? The Mondale way, the, 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 uh, who, who else has done it? Bush has done that. You run against the person, you fade out sometime during the primary with good cheer, uh-huh. and then they, they call you and, back and to VP. And then they VP. call you up to be VP. And so you're not going to go, you're not going to run hard against her because you don't want to tick her off so that then you're disqualified from that. And then, of course, the other reason is because you might then, it's good to run once before you run twice, right. except I'm not sure about the four times. It's for people who have nothing to lose. <laughs> let, let's look at, let, let's look at these Quinnipiac polls. Out in, in, they're fascinating out in Iowa right now. Look at this. Clinton, 45. Paul, 44. Who would have believed that Paul would be that close a match with Hillary Clinton? Look at this one. Clinton, 40. Christie, 45. Now, this is before the kerfuffle over the bridge. But there was Christie up five. Look at this one. Cruz, 41. The Clinton, 48. Well, I wouldn't bet on Cruz nationally anyway, but he's within seven. And there's Clinton, Bush, 47 to 40 for Bush. 
Uh, we have, you know, Hillary Clinton beating Bush, beating Jeb Bush. No surprise there either. All within the 40s. All within the 40s. And it also goes to, I mean, right now, look, these polls are just measuring but the, in the, the 40s, sentiment. That tells you something. Well, they're measuring sentiment right now in Iowa. I mean, if you are a Democrat, the one thing, the bit of good news you can see is that her numbers are better than Barack Obama's in Iowa right now, right? I mean, he's the last poll that I saw in there, he's in the low 40s in Iowa, maybe even lower. Who's that? The president. Yeah. yeah. So if you're a Democrat, that's really what you're being pegged at right now. Hillary Clinton has a name. She has 47 percent. There's no doubt about that. That's not that hard to get in a state like Iowa. The question is, once this race gets engaged, she's the best known person in this field. Does Iowa look like it is today or does it okay. look like it did in 2000? I remember I was working in the White House as a speechwriter for President Carter and all, Teddy Kennedy was unbeatable. He's killing Carter 20, 30 points in the polls. The minute he announced that disappeared, the minute he announced but Hillary announces the first thing will be that they'll hit her with the Benghazi, Benghazi, Benghazi. Whatever they mean by that, they mean something to them. Boom, 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 boom. Once that yeah. smattering of attack begins, that yep. ramming of her day after day after day, these polls aren't going to. Yeah, mean she's going to. They're going to cl- collapse. Her, this, this, uh, she has a seventy-five percent approval rating, or she's doing so well among independents and Republicans. Yeah. It's going to all go back to. But they're going to play that. Look at the Hillary over over we're doing that. to Christie now. Well, the people on the other side will be doing to Hillary when her time comes. Yeah, I well, that, that one clip where she's in the congressional hearing and she says, what difference does it make? Exasperated. I think, you know, we know what her real point was. Just come on. We, we, we need to figure out what Whether happened. Whether it's a protest or what it was. Yeah, well, exactly. But they're going to make it sound like she well, didn't care about people getting they killed. They will, but I'm not sure that that doesn't backfire on them. And Hillary just seems like she gets, a, gets past these things somehow. I don't know how to explain it exactly. But I also think the woman factor is significant for okay, her. I, I mean, that's just... That's people just, my age who are women think it's our turn. It's another our moment turn. of history. Let me ask you about this. Can somebody run against her without attacking her? And if you do attack her, don't you lose? Is this it one depends of these, on what the attack is. Is it an attack personal or is it yeah, well, policy? Policy, what she's done. No, I think on policy you can go there. I mean, you can have the debates, yeah. as you were mm-hmm. talking about, especially on national security. Yeah. I think right. people feel, now, you know, Hillary has been pilloried and pilloried and pilloried time and time again. And at a certain point, that becomes exhausting Do you feel this woman saying it's time for a woman? I, I don't look at the world that way, but um, mm. if all, all other things being equal, yeah. Do you? You can't say. Yeah, I mean, I... It would be great to have okay. a woman I, I do think something. That, I, I think she's as like I yeah. think but a woman is as capable, as capable as a man, we okay, go. if they are equally qualified. I mean, what I'd like to see, you know what Perfect. I would like to see? <laughs> I'd like to see more women. Pari Passu, Keteris Parvis, governors <laughs> as Anyway, well, thank right? you very much. All other things being equal. I love that from economics. Anyway, thank you, Amy Waller. Happy holiday. Thank you, Kathleen. Up next, a Methodist pastor who officiated the wedding of his gay son has been suspended from his church. Pastor Frank Schaefer joins us next. There's a very strong personal and national human rights issue coming up here. This is Hardball, the place for politics.